Hey, what's up coders? Welcome to One Little Coder. In this applied NLP tutorial, we are going to learn how to create long AI generated blog post using Cohere API. So Cohere API is going to help us in creating AI generated blog post. Why is it important? A lot of people have been fascinated about ChatGPT at this point but ChatGPT does not have an official API and if you want to build a commercial NLP application you need a solution like Cohere API and that is exactly why we are exploring one of the most asked use cases on our channel which is AI generated blog post using Cohere API. So in this video we are going to build a web application that looks like this. Let me first show you the demo of the web application and then I'll tell you what are we going to see in this video. Let's give a topic here. As you can see, I've given a topic called generative AI and then this AI system, which is Cohere API has created this content for us. And this web application can be customized for anything that we want to generate. For example, if you want to generate tweets, you can generate it using this. If you want to generate a poem, you can generate it using this. This entire code is available on the Google Collab, which I'll link it in the YouTube description. So it's very easy for anybody to get started if you want to replicate this product. So what are we going to see in this video? First, we are going to see a very quick overview of Cohere API and what kind of offerings they have got, what kind of models that they have got. Once we see Cohere API's basic information about models, then we are going to jump into their playground and play with a few templates that they have provided us. Next, we are going to move into the Google Collab and then build this Gradio application where we can give a topic and generate a blog post based on this topic. And then finally, we'll wrap this video with a quick summary of what we have seen. Let's get started with what is Cohere API and what kind of offerings that they have got. When you go to cohere.ai, you can you would land on this landing page and there what they say is making NLP part of every developer's toolkit. So as part of ML AI democratization, one of the things that I've always emphasized on this channel is NLP or ML would not become mainstream if only data scientists or machine learning engineers build tools. But we actually need every single developer on the planet to leverage machine learning and NLP for these things to become mainstream and that is exactly how you can democratize where AI is saying is exactly the same thing. So what we are going to see is we are going to see how to get started with Cohere. So all you have to do is click get started. Once you click get started, you have to use your Google or GitHub or something to log in. You have a free tire where you can play around with the API and that is exactly what we are going to use. And this is a solution that you can also use in production as well, unlike ChatGPT, which is currently a free preview that is available for everybody to play with. Once you arrive at the Cohere AI's dashboard, you would see this dashboard where you can get your API key trial. Um, I'm currently showing you the API key here, but never share your API key. You can go to the API key section, you can create multiple keys or you can delete it. And also right now I'm using Cohere for free. So if you want to use production API key, you need to have a paid account, which I currently do not have. They've got documentation here, which you can go ahead and then read about every single model and what kind of examples that you want to try. They've got some use cases, codes, everything that you can try. My most interesting part of interface that they've got is their playground. Their playground is quite interesting where you can actually play with their existing models and you can also export code of what you are playing with the model. For example, let's start with one of the popular model that they've got, which is X large. We can click that and then they have got certain presets for us to start with. For example, if you want to do article summarization, you can go under summarization and click article summarization. If you want to do paraphrasing, let's say you have got an internal team in your company that creates knowledge based articles or that they are like technical writers who create product documentation. So you want to check what they write using an AI solution so you can go click spelling and grammar check or you want to extract information from a given text you can go to information extraction or what we are doing in this video is to create text actually generate text so we can go ahead and then say okay i want to create a blog post so i can click blog post and that gives me a very nice template about okay this program will generate an introductory paragraph to a blog post given a blog title audience and tone of voice it's not mandatory that it has to be in the same format 
but this is something that they have tried and tested out and put it for us so you can use this format and then click and you can generate it. for example i'm going to use this format that i've got here and we are giving certain samples to the algorithm as well so instead of making the algorithm completely zero shot which in this case this model is not we're going to use this model to generate by giving certain examples after this model we'll see another model which is pure zero shot and that is exactly what we are going to use for building our own AI generated blog post web application using radio. So now I'm going to give a blog title. I'm going to say how to get started with Python. And then I'm going to say audience are programmers and the tone should be enthusiastic. I'm happy about it. The first paragraph and I can control the number of tokens that I want, which is, I mean, you can almost say that number of words that you want almost not exactly, but almost. So I can say I want 200 words. I'm going to click generate. And once I click generate, you can see that it is going to create an article or a small paragraph on the title called how to get started with Python. So it says Python is one of the most programming languages for beginners. It's powerful, expressive, relatively easier to learn given its syntax, very close to plain English. If you want to learn Python, this guide will help you get started, which is a very coherent text that Cohere API has given us. But we are not going to use X large model. I've got another surprise for you, which is the command X large model. So now what is command X large model? So the command X large model is a new model, which is in beta yet is trained on the Cohere's X large model, but this works very well on the zero shot setup and also instruction like prompts. So if you have heard about instruct GPT, if you have heard about chat GPT, chat GPT is basically built on top of something called instruct GPT, which is not a simple large language model, but it has been trained in such a way that it can take instructions in a zero shot setup and then it can respond back properly without a lot of examples like how we gave, which means in one line, I can say, help me create a tweet like, let's say Elon Musk or TechCrunch, and it is going to create me a tweet. So this is how typically instruction or instruction like prompts work and command X large model helps us doing that. Let's use the command X large model to try out something new. So I'm going to create a po poem generator. That's better. Write a poem on, um, let's say generative AI, and then I can give a colon and then I can click generate. I've selected 140 tokens. Just for no reasons, maybe, you know, I can tweet it easily. So write a poem on generative AI and let's see what kind of poem it generates for us. So, oh, it just gen generative AI is the art of creating without human input. Oh, and it does, it does, it does try to create a long poem. Okay, that's good. So instead of poem, maybe let's try something that's more practical for us. So I can help me write a viral LinkedIn post on FIFA on Argentina winning the FIFA World Cup. Add the colon and then click generate. As you can see, it has generated a LinkedIn post for me. It says Argentinians are the best at everything from tango to barbecue to wine. You have got it all. And then it has got all the information about the post that I wanted because it's a large language model that is not connected to the internet doesn't have information about the recent FIFA win. We are going to get into the business of generating AI generated blog posts. So I'm going to show you a very quick prompt and I'm going to show you how we can copy this code and then productionize it for our purpose. I'm going to write saying, write a blog post with table of content on the topic uh, generative AI. I don't know why I'm just using generative AI for everything. I'm going to increase the number of tokens to 300 here, um, which is what is advisable. So according to them, do not go beyond 300 because the model is currently in beta. It might start hallucinating, which means it might lose its coherence. So this is good. So you can see, as you can see, this is quite good. It has got some topic and it is quite, I mean, it's, it's nice. Like for example, I can say generative AI can be a powerful tool for solving problems and generate new ideas. However, it could also be misused. For example, it could be used to create junk content to spread misinformation. So this is really good. So now what is the next step is uh, we have done everything on playground. Um, it looks well and good. Now you can click export code and then you can click export code and see the examples in Python, Node.js, Go, Curl, CLI. 
So I'm going to go to Py I'm going to just simply copy Python and that is what I've done here in my Google Colab notebook. So I've installed request uh, which is which is uh, not literally required but just in case then I've got Gradio uh, installed for the web application then I've installed the Cohere API sorry Cohere Python library which is how we can communicate with the Cohere API. Now import Cohere and then you have the API authentication or the secret key in your code it is not advisable to hard code it like that add it as an environment variable but i just wanted to show you that i've done the authentication here the next thing is what we exactly copied from there and i've wrapped it around a function i've called it a function called write underscore post and the parameter is topic and the prompt i've converted into an f string which means whatever the topic that you give here it goes here for example if the topic is nlp it says create a blog post with table of contents for the in for NLP for I should say for NLP so or if it is generative AI it says create a blog post with table of contents for generative AI so that's how it is I've stuck with 300 tokens and the rest of the parameters like k value temperature I've gone ahead with the default value that the Cohere API the playground suggested me and then finally I've got the response so this you can see it collects the response and I've taken the text output of it and I'm returning it back. So this is for my Gradio application. So this creates the core function that we are going to use for the Gradio application. Once again, just to quickly show our Gradio application has got an input, has got a button and then has got an output. So I'm going to show you how we are doing it. But the core for this is the function that we just created, which is we have a function called write underscore post in which we are doing the exact same thing that we did with the playground we copied from there the code we copied from there and we came back we pasted it here and we are using it next once we re return the response next let's start with the front end part which is a gradio part import gradio as gr which is just a gradio import we are using gradio's blocks that gives us a lot of flexibility to design the gradio application like for example in our case we have got everything row by row so this helps helps us do that. So we got the first title, which is a markdown AI generated blog post with Cohere API. The next thing is we have got an input, which is a text box. We've got a placeholder that says enter your topic for blog post generation. And then the label is topic. That's what we have got here. And then finally, we have got a button here that says generate. And then we are displaying an output, which is just a text box, but without having an ability to edit. So when you click the button, it calls this function, sending this input, waiting for this output. We can launch the demo and this is the application. So I'm going to show you how this output looks like. As you can see, we have got generative AI here. So let me give another topic, machine learning, and then I can click generate. And as you can see in real time, um, it takes about like eight seconds in this case for it to generate. It depends upon the number of tokens that you use. Also, the model is in beta. So you can see that it has created the table of contents. So when it creates the table of content, what is good is now you can use every single thing as a topic to generate larger content. I can say, what are some of the use cases? So I can copy and paste this literally, and then that will help me create now more content. So this way your blog post is not one, you're not creating it in one long shot, which may have hallucination, which might create some problem. So you can, you can chunk it into smaller pieces like topics and then you can generate the blog post as well. So let's say you don't want to generate blog posts. You want to generate something else. All you have to do is go back to your code, change this prompt. Before you change this prompt, you can go back to the playground, play with the prompt, like kind of prompt that you want to give. The prompts are very important here. So you can change, for example, I can say, create a blog post for something. So I can stop my Grady application, run the function again, run this function, run this function, run this function, run, and then once again, run it, go back and refresh my Grady application. But to keep the same text, just to show you how changing the prompt can have an impact on the output. I'm going to paste it here, click generate, and then let's see what it can generate. What are the some of the, what are some use cases for machine learning? Is a topic that was given to I given to us by AI. And once you put that here, so you got all the use cases. So this way you can have a title of the blog post. First, 
set you can create all the subtitles or you can say create different sections like bullets or outline and now for every bullet or outline you can create individual content and then you have a very long coherent human written like blog post simply using Cohere API or a web app like this. So I can give something else. For example, I can say I avatars.com raising 50 million seed round. Okay. I don't know whether there is a website like that, but like if this is my topic, if I want to create a blog post about somebody raising a seed fund, let's see how it, it does. So it says, yeah, avatars is a company looking communicate. They are raising 550 million seed round to help. And you can see there are more details. So now if you are a content writer, if you're a marketer, all you have to do is you have to copy this and then, you know, replace it with your relevant information. And in just like less than like five or 10 minutes, you have a full fledged blog post ready for you without having to rely on a very big team. And that is exactly what Cohere API offers us. Quite simple with a simple, like, as you can see, the Python code is like less than 10 lines of Python code and you have a full fledged web application. This way you can also integrate it with your own web application. So to quickly summarize what we saw in this video, we first learned about Cohere AI. We then learned about Cohere API. We went to their playground and played with the X large model. Then we went to the zero shot command law X large model. Then we saw a couple of examples where we created um, tweets, where we created LinkedIn post and uh, where we created blog post. And then finally we have got we have built this web application using the code that the Cohere Playground gave us. I hope this video tutorial was helpful to you in creating an application or using an application that can generate um, blog posts for you. So it's AI generated blog post using Cohere API. If you have got any question, please let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I hope this was helpful to you. The code and the required links will be linked in the YouTube description. Make sure you check it out and see you in the next video. Happy prompting.